Are they the ones that might have been um, last okay, yeah, documented? I think it's useful to go there because you can't really imagine what they saw while they were fighting. Like when you go there, it's not going to be how it was then. Now it's a nice place, but then it was like a battlefield where people died, and it's a bit like a mass grave because there's bodies that were never found. <coughs> so you can feel it more in heart than just looking at a picture of it on the whiteboard. One of the greatest challenges is that so many of the sites you visit, you're dealing with a huge, huge scale. That you go into cemeteries where there are nearly 12,000 graves, or you visit a memorial with 73,000 names on. And very quickly, it could just become a numbers visit. That everywhere you go, it's about numbers. So one of the things we try to do is adopt a process essentially of micro-history. We take it down to an individual story. So in a cemetery, we would start with just one grave. We would show how that grave in itself can start to tell a story, that it has a broader history. It has yeah, connections with communities at home. And then by focusing on that one story, students can then begin to appreciate that, well, if that one story is there, there's another one next to it. There's another one beyond that. And suddenly, those 12,000 headstones become 12,000 stories. And that has a much greater impact on the students and really does help them to get beyond just a numbers comprehension of a historical event to one that really has personal meaning and much wider impact and implications. I learned that it was a lot tougher than I actually thought it was and the conditions were a lot worse than I actually thought it was in the first place and the use of different places and different objects was a lot different as well especially down in the trenches it felt as though like you were actually a soldier and it you definitely got a feel and an experience of what it was like When we teach World War One, it can be more about weapons or it, a lot of just focus on the Somme and actually to reflect and think it wasn't just one day, it wasn't just one battle. There was four years of this and every single different place has a story.